I spend a lot of time with youth groups and uh, I say to people, when does the education process begin? We're always talking about, let's fix the schools, let's do more for our teachers, let's put more computers in our schools, let's, well, let's get it all online. That isn't the full, whole answer, it's part of the answer. But the real answer begins with bringing a child to the school with structure in that child's heart and soul to begin with. When does the learning process begin? Does it begin in first grade? No, no, it begins the first time a child in a mother's arms looks up at the mother and says, oh, this must be my mother. She's the one who feeds me. Oh, oh yeah, when I don't feel so good down there, she kind of you know, takes care of me. It's her language I will learn. And at that moment, they shut out all the other languages that they could be learning at that age. But by three months, they've, that's her. And if the person doing it, whether it's a mother or grandmother, whoever's doing it, that is when the education process begins. That's when language begins. That's when love begins. That's when structure begins. That's when you start to imprint on the child that you are special. You are different from every other child in the world. And we're going to read to you. A child that has not been read to is in danger when that child gets to school. A child who doesn't know his or her colors, who doesn't know how to tell time, doesn't know how to tie shoes, doesn't know how to do those things, and doesn't know how to do something that uh, goes by a word that was drilled into me as a kid. Mind, mind your manners, mind your adults, mind what you're saying. This is the way children are raised properly. And I watch my own young grandchildren now come along, and they're much to the distress of my, my children, they are acting just like we did. You know, it, 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 you imprint them. Uh, and that's what you have to do to prepare children for education and for school. And I'm working all the energy I have to sort of communicate this message that we need preschool, we need Head Start, we need prenatal care. The education process begins even before the child is born. And if you don't do that, you're going to have difficulty. And we are having difficulties in so many of our communities and so many of our schools where kids are coming to first grade and their eyes are blazing. They got their little knapsack on and they're ready to go. And then they realize they're not like the other first graders who no books have been read to, can do their alphabet. And by the third grade, the kids who didn't have that structure and minding in the beginning start to realize they're behind, and what do they do? They act it out. They act it out, and they're on their way to jail, or they're on their way to being dropouts. It's predictable. If you're not at the right reading level at third grade, you are a candidate for jail at age 18. And we have the highest incarceration rate because we're not getting our kids the proper start in life.